What's going on, y'all? SCS. No. Another one. I started a video before this, but hold on, hold on. Steve Davis underscore CG is my only Instagram. Steve is the only one authorized to receive any payments for SCS. SCS is located in Georgia, Riverdale, Georgia. No other state, no other city. All right. Now, I started another video before I started recording this, but I completely forgot I was recording the series. Yeah, and I'm gonna continue it on for y'all tomorrow, but it's about the other shop. Man, this month sometime, putting up my two four post lifts, doing my garage track conversion. I'm making sure I get myself some time, because I ain't been get myself some time, so. All right, man, so. Turned uh, everything off and tested it. I ain't get nothing. Press the reset button. Nothing. So, yep, the motor is out. So I took the back cover off, rolled it. Everything rolling. Everything rolling fine like it should. I'm hoping I don't have an issue with these uh, pieces coming out. So, uh, it worked. Now, let's see if it fit on here. This splendor actually look kind of small, so, oh uh, yeah, that'll be too much luck. Don't fit. So, I'm not even gonna mount it. I'm gonna just take the whole motor to the store. Damn, that was too, too good to be true. If it ever could work out for me on the first time, it won't. <laughs> not for real. I never worked on the first time, so. We still uh, put the motor up here and uh, test the wiring out. New motor, new motor, new motor. Oh, shit, the wires can go in here. Yeah, man, put that back together. Alright, got the new motor wired. Let's see how it go. Pretty simple. So yeah, we just gotta get this pulley. Put everything in. So we put this in my truck. First thing tomorrow on the northern tube, try to matter of fact I'm about to check home depot. I mean what is it called? Copper freight. Where I bought it from. Let's see. The next day. Tractor supply. I usually always go to uh, Granger or Northern too. Well, I'm at Tractor Supply. I was right by UPS. I just shipped this morning. My bad. I'm trying to see what I was looking for. Found what I was looking for. L11. I just left the cart, man. This thing heavy. We got the pulleys right here in the belts. So let me match up what I need with what I got. And then uh, hopefully we can make something happen. Take it back home and take that other air compressor back to the big shop. So let's see. All right, the first pulley I grabbed, it was a five ace and a three ace. Five ace, five ace. And it worked. Slip right on. So got that. Then uh, the belt that I had, was a uh, 48 and just so I had to grab a 47 because put the boy side by side the new pulley is a little smaller so and then the belt was kind of loose so we uh drop an inch and hopefully we should be good but now that I know that I have a half inch by 48 and I'm going to a half inch by 47 whatever I got man I can just make it work so about 40 bucks and we have some air again
looks like this was a fail. This uh, motor is too small. It's 12, 5 amps. And the old motor here is 17.3 amps. So, need something that size of here. All right. Okay, that's a little bit more research. There's no horsepower rating on here. You can say SPL. So I just did the research. And this is a five horsepower motor. And then what I bought is a three horsepower motor. motor. It explains it all. Ah, wish I would've did that kind of research before I even did all this. All right, let's look y'all. We back with this compressor video. Man, I cannot wait to go ahead and regrade all this. Look, I'm just coming in the shop. I'm gonna do a definitely do a flex seal around the perimeter, and that's gonna be good. Right now, man, I'm gonna wire this big boy up. It's five horsepower up, and we'll have some air here, so I'm gonna have to be moving these compressors back and forth. Uh, I'm trying to make sure I'm gonna have everything together right. Boom, boom. Tighten all that up. Got air again. Hey, man. It's, a, it's definitely a lot quieter than it was. And I know what that squealing is next time, too. If your air compressor squeal, hold on. Your air compressor squeal is because the belt is bad or the belt is loose. My belt was real loose. I didn't know why I was squealing, but that was why I was squealing. But let me see something while I'm over here. I'm saying I'm building me a little wood house with some sound that another going. Oh yeah, this ain't bad. It's way quieter than what it was. And this is on the other side of the deal, so it ain't gonna be too bad once I put that cover over it. Yeah, that's definitely not bad. But when I was in the, the house garage with it, my other house garage with it. It's a smaller area, so it was loud. Still might buy another one though. Another uh, 60 down used. Cause uh, that small 26, 20, whatever it is. It's like that thing cut on every 10 minutes. This one cut on that off. I need to buy two new hoses. I need to put the hoses along the wall because Drive over it, walk over it, you do anything to these hoses. These came from uh, Home Depot, these real ones. And they are trash, man. Never had issues with two hoses at once when I bought them at the same time, ever. So, let's take this one. <laughs> the next day. All right, y'all, so we got I don't know if that locking pin, locking piece supposed to be that far out, but let's see. All right. So got that like it's supposed to be. Like I said, it's going to be a cover. If it get too loud, it's going to be a cover. That stops from being so loud. But boom, got the ground going all the way around. Two powers, 30 amp breaker now. All right, this the piece here. I right, put the screw in. Hold on, let me show y'all what it look like. All right, so sit this up here with the screw in it. So this looks something like this. Nah, other side, like this, boom. This is the upgraded part to this. So you got a positive, positive, negative, I mean, both positive, double positive, so white, white, black, black. This is an on off switch. I guess it came with an on off switch, but this is how I got it, like, just like that. I got it just like that. It ain't had no water spots in there from sitting outside, but it was just like this. Um, this thing messed up once to where it wouldn't cut off, and I split these two spring pieces apart and adjusted some stuff. I don't even know what I did, but I made it to where it cut off because, I mean, it was hitting like 150 PSI, and it usually cut off at like 140, but I made it to where it cut off and it was working again but yeah definitely time to put this on i gotta do my research and make sure i do all this right because i don't know how this piece right here go on 
some classic holes, but I don't know if I just cut the holes and stick it in and it just lock itself because it's look like a locking. Hold on, let me cut the light on. It look like something that lock on it. It's right there, y'all see it, but I don't know. And I bought this piece about three years ago, so I can't find the instructions on eBay from the part number. But uh, I'm finna go in the box and hopefully it's a part number. Hopefully it's a part number in this box somewhere. This is a filter for a paint going uh, water separator. Fish out filters. That's what that is. Oh, yeah. So the whole thing in. Yep, 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 yep. So I'm going to take some pictures of this. Make sure everything works. And this is QAQC. Y'all see how long ago I bought this? 2019. That's the last time that I bought something for this compressor. Because it ain't never gave me no problems. But uh, it'll work for right now. But I just can't use it continuously until the switch gets fixed.